This is my 30,000 pound mountain bike collection and it's absolutely insane. Let's take a look at it. Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I've lined up 10 different bikes here eight of which are canyons, but they all have different usages. So let's take a deep dive into my collection of bikes and see which ones are my favorite and which ones do what. There's actually two weird bikes thrown into this collection because these are the favorite ones that I've had out of all my weird bikes and actually the ones that lasted the longest. Oh, and actually one of the canyons has been modified into a quad bicycle that you might have seen in a past video. So this is kind of halfway between weird and normal. On to the first bike in my collection then. This is the Canyon Torque On. This e-bike has 180 mil of travel. It's got a Shimano electric motor in there. We've got a 900 watt hour battery. So that keeps the session alive for ages. I upgraded it with some Halo Gravitas wheels, front and rear. And we got the Goodyear Newton tires on there. It's got a 29 a front, 27.5 on the rear. Now this e-bike, is the one that Canyon say can do anything. So I like to use this one because it's made for huge jumps going as fast as possible and is literally unbreakable. Look at some of the crazy stuff I've done with this beauty. As you can see, this bike is an absolute beast. This is exactly what an e-bike should be, an all-round sender. You can go up on it, down on it, jump it, flip it, trick it. I couldn't ask for anything more than that for an e-bike, incredible. I've also got peel grips on here, which I didn't mention a minute ago. Most brands wouldn't show a worn out pair of grips, but these have been on here for five months. I just looked back through my channel. I got this bike five months ago, and there's only a little bit of wear on there to the point where I actually like the feeling of it. So if you wanna get some peel grips, links in the description. We're now gonna move on to the next bike already. And if you wonder why I'm using a tripod and there's no Louis filming, that is unfortunately because he's pretty sick. The last few days he's been throwing up and stuff. Anyway, onto the next bike, and that is the Canyon Spectral On. Now this is the first e-bike I got from Canyon, and I've actually kind of pushed that down to be Louis's bike now, because I just love the torque, it, it feels amazing. And having all of that travel on the torque is just so much fun to ride. I do love the feeling of the Spectral though, and a few days ago I was able to ride the Canyon Spectral on CFR, one of their top level e-bikes, and mind blown. Look at this. move on now from the e-bikes they are both set up the same both with Shimano motors both with the Halo Gravitas wheel sets and Goodyear Newton tires we're now on to the weird Canyon that has been modified by myself so this is what I like to call the Canyon stitched 1080 but actually in the last video I added another front wheel to it so it's actually the stitched 1440 this started life as a Canyon stitch 360 hardtail jump bike but after riding the Canyon Stitch 720 slope style bike so often, I decided to modify this and fit this crazy rear end to it. I found this online and this is a tricycle conversion kit by Dream Bike. Um, I threw that on there and that transformed this normal jump bike into one of my craziest and kind of favorite bikes because it's just so ridiculous and no one else I can imagine has one of these. This is sort of the only one in existence right now. 
Oh my god, it works amazingly. Oh, it went all sideways and death at the end. <laughs> oh my god, that, that was actually a new learn, weren't it? And you can just stop on this to practice your balancing skills. See that? The quad is unbelievable. Wow, this thing's like an absolute rally drift machine. So that was a tricycle conversion kit, super fun bike, but we're now on to probably what is my favorite canyon. This is the Canyon Stitch 720. This is a slope style bike. And as you know, my background is slope style and all the years of riding the contests, I never had a proper slope style bike until now. And I'm kind of at the end of my slope style career, but I love the fact that this can do all the tricks, but you still got the suspension at the rear here to take up some of the massive impacts and makes this one of my go-to bikes for everyday riding. It is really an amazing piece of kit. The only upgrades I done to it were the Halo Chaos wheel set front and rear. We got the Goodyear wing foot dirt tires on there, which are super cool, perfect for dirt jumps, street riding and skate park stuff. Another mod I done was the title bar and stem on there with peel grips, of course, the non lock on extra long grips, love them. And of course the Ergon SM Enduro saddle. I like it cause it's super wide and it helps with bar spins. You've definitely seen me riding this bike, but here's a few banger clips on it. Next up is the Canyon Stoic. This is an aggressive hardtail mountain bike. For me, it's super cool because you can ride it on dirt jumps. You can do a bit of trials on it. You can ride it in the skate park, down proper trails. Once again, we got Halo Gravitas wheel set on there. Front and rear, that's a 27.5, keeping it nice and maneuverable. And then I put title bar and stem on there with some pill grips in yellow. And of course, an Ergon saddle. We got the Pro Tie Downhill saddle on there because it looks extra steezy. But that bike's well fun. Look what can be done on it. Oh, whoa, that was massive. So if you're just starting mountain biking or you want a bike that can do everything, I'd s goodness, I'd say that that bike, the Canyon Stoic, an aggressive hardtail is the perfect all rounder. Let's have a look at the next one, seeing as this one's trying to run away. Next up is the most beautiful looking bike in my collection, I'd say. This is the Canyon Stitched Trials CFR. This bike is very, very special. Why is this bike so special? Well, it is totally carbon, frame and forks. It is made for fully aggressive street trials moves, which is quite a niche sport. So the fact that Canyon jumped on board and actually made a bike specific for that is super cool. And the fact that they gave me one is even better. So I've had a couple of rides on this and it's just a whole game changer amount of fun. Look at this. That's a nice bike, actually. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> 
So that was the Canyon trial bike. I absolutely love that thing. I'm just mind blown I've got all of these beautiful bikes. Once again, middle of this video, thank you very much Canyon for supplying me with so much awesome stuff. But it's now time for a weird bike. So the first weird bike of my collection is the Mark II bed bike. If you follow the channel and have watched a load of the videos, you'll have seen the first version of this a couple of years ago. It was quite a bit bigger and made out of a double bed headboard. This is made from a single bed headboard and it is so difficult to ride and that's what makes it well fun. Louis had a massive crash on it which looked like this. Just gonna... Oh my god! You all right? Yeah. But... <laughs> oh my god! That's so crap. The first episode was just super funny i just love that i can say to people oh, i'm gonna go and ride on a bed bike here's a few extra clips before we move on i've encountered one problem with this amazing bike and that's low headroom oh my god Oh. oh my god, it's working! That is, oh, oh, that was a proper noz! <laughs> oh. The next bike in my collection is the Canyon Spectral. This is super special to me because this is the first bike you guys will have seen me riding that was a Canyon when I did my Welcome to Canyon video at the start of the year. This was the bike that I took. This is the first one I got and I'll be forever grateful that Canyon accepted me to go on the team and I'm able to get all of these amazing bikes. This one is set up quite a lot different than they intended though. So I've got this set up like a slope duro bike. As you can see I've only got one brake on there. That is the rear brake. Uh, we've got the Goodyear Escape tyres which are smaller than your normal Oh, for goodness, I really like these because they're like closer to a dirt jump tyre. So the bike has got 160 mil travel, it's pumped up solid. We got solid rear suspension as well. And of course they've done the amazing mod of putting the gears there, which means when I do tail whips and bar spins, it doesn't get affected by getting wrapped around the head tube. Also, I've got an Ergon SM Enduro saddle, nice and wide for bar spins, and I took the dropper off. So this is literally the opposite of an Enduro bike, but it is lovely. This is a slope Enduro beast, and this is what it's capable of. So far, so good. Oh my God, the spectral manual's like an absolute dream. Oh, it's so fast. That is so sick. I actually never felt so comfy on a bike that fast. I love slope duro bikes. They're basically an old man slope style bike, but you're still part of the mountain bike scene. So it's quite a fun mix of trickery and trail riding shreddage, which is super cool. But we're now onto the next one, which is a standout in my biking. I absolutely love this beauty. This is a penny farthing. If you've seen any of the videos, you'll have seen me ride down a very steep hill on it, crash a few times, go flat out, and I also put a huge paramotor on my back. Get round. <laughs> That 
is the smallest air I've ever seen. Whoa! <laughs> Send it! Whoa, that is so fast though! We're now on to the final bike of my collection. They have not been in any particular order, but this one is quite a special bike. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't actually that excited when I heard I was gonna get this bike because I do like to keep my suspension at a shorter level than what this comes at, until I rode this though. This is 180 mil of travel and I always thought you want less suspension for making tricks easier. But the way this bike has been made with the slack, slacker head angle and just their obvious amazing brains in Canyon, it actually handles more like my slope bike than even the Spectral. So for big jumps and big tricks, this is the bike. I mean, this is really a crazy bit of kit and you don't even feel that you've got 180 mil of travel on there. So that's what makes it extra special is you can go huge, but you can also hit smaller jumps and it's just gets thrown all over the place. I absolutely love it. You! Oh! Whoa. Massive three. Flip top. Yes. Well, that's such a fun little mulch actually. For this, we've got a setup of 60 PSI in the tires, a bit less than the slope style bike. We've got Halo Gravitas front and rear, 27.5. We've got a nice bit of air in the suspension, just keeping it super stiff. And once again, the Ergon SM Enduro saddle. I like how wide it is, it's good for bar spins. And on this, we've got a nice bit of modification up the top. As you can see, I'm running the front brake cable through the steerer tube. And it comes out here. That way, when you spin the bars, it doesn't get tangled in the front and you can run your rear cables around the tube like that. And that way you can get a couple of bar spins out of it. But how are the gears working? Well, I've got these SRAM electric gears on here, which mean there's no cables and I can just switch through the gears with no troubles and no worries about it getting tangled up. So that was my mountain bike collection. As you can see, I had a load of different bikes, all with different usages though pretty sick and when you're really pushing the limits of each genre of mountain biking you definitely do need yourself different bikes for each one it is unfortunate that louis couldn't join us today or over the last day so if you want to wish him well go over to his instagram and give him a get well soon message and then hopefully we'll be back shredding oh yeah while we're here for those that remember that i used to have jumps in the garden and then they got knocked down well because i tried to appeal that decision back in the day i'm actually not allowed to do this what you're not allowed to ride a penny farthing no i actually can't ride any bikes at all in my garden I did a little test the other day, if you'd have seen that Sir on video where I'd done a backflip, that was in the garden, I just wanted to check if anyone was watching, and someone actually told on me again, that same guy, it must have been, um, and then I got a letter from the council that said, you're not allowed to ride in the garden, so I called them and I was like, wait, so I can't even pedal my bike in the garden? No. So, if you're in England, don't annoy the council or you won't even be allowed to use your garden to pedal in but i am allowed to drive in and park a loud car in the garden but i'm not allowed to just pedal around there on my bike if they see it they might take me to court bit weird that's the end of the video see you in the next one